Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Uh, I've been pretty busy in the meantime. Uh, I'll get to that later. But first, uh, this video, this tutorial is about making the Divi uh, uh, headers, header menu, uh, the regular top header menu, uh, look like a block. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's look at this preview. So this is actually the blog post that this video is going to go into. So it's like uh, blockception. Anyways. So um, here we go. So it's gonna look like th like that. All right. So I saw this. I saw someone ask this on a on a Facebook group. So uh, I'm I'm doing this. All right. So <clears throat> this is a regular Divi with some uh, style sheets loaded. All right, so now I'm using a child theme, and in this child theme, I'm oh, by the way, the reason why I've been out for so long uh, of the blogging stuff that I've been doing on my website is because A, I've been doing work on uh, redesigning my website, and B, um, I've been making another uh, uh, course, and the first course that I've made was about. Um, you know, making Divi more responsive. Uh, this course, making Divi more responsive, but this course is about uh, how to use uh, Contact Form 7. And you're gonna learn stuff like um, how to style Contact Form 7. So like this is Contact Form 7. I think it looks really nice like that. And you're gonna learn how to, how to do this. Yeah. So, uh, and you get all the sources for everything. So that's why it's, it's cool. Um, yeah. Anyways, so that's what I've been, that's what I've been doing. I've been making uh, all the sources for everything and I've been working on recording everything. So like the, that's the options and like that. And you can do this. So. I teach how to make these forms. Okay. Anyways, so that's the that's a new course that I'm working on, um, which is why I've been out. So uh, let's just get into this, right? So um, this post will have the code. We'll have the CSS code, and this is the CSS code that I have, and we're gonna just copy that, like that. Now, of course, I already have it here, right? Uh, there we go. I already have it here. And I will explain how this works, all right? So if you look here, these um, menu items, what they have is, um, you can see the green to the right, right? And the content is in the blue. So that means that they have padding, all right? They have padding, oops, oh, where did, oh. they have, um, padding over here and they have if you look at the a itself they have padding on the bottom right so we're gonna have to take out the padding here oh, later oh well if you take out the padding here then they're all stuck together and we're gonna have to add the padding to this guy all right so padding 33 pixels and 10 pixels. All right, that works. Now the reason why I'm doing this, uh, if we do first number, second number, that means top, bottom, and left. All right, so I actually need this because right now that's, there we go, top and bottom, right? Okay, now uh, you just saw that this uh, header just stretched itself. It's because um, the top navigation actually has padding on the top. All right, so right now default is probably something like 33 and top and bottom, uh, remember here, we put, put a 33 on top and 33 on the bottom, right? So that's why it has 33 on top and bottom, 10 on either side, and we need to take it out of this guy and put it in here, okay? That's how we can get just the A to have its own section. Now this section, if you put your mouse over it, will change color. And that color is this color, 
the background and the text will be uh, white because it's color FFF now I'm adding some transitions uh, it does have vendor prefixes but it's really you, these things these guys really don't matter you can just use transition it works on all modern browsers anyways but anyways so we, I have put all the transitions here that means that it will go from white nothing in the background to a red background okay and of course we I added this padding top and bottom first number is top and bottom second number is left and right okay uh, and we took out the padding on the right that we had between uh, each menu item and we took out the padding on the top that we had uh, over here that we originally had over there um, one thing is that um, this this code applies to both the the what is it um, the, the header with the the logo in the middle and the header with the logo the default header with the logo on the left it works on both uh, it depends on what you're doing but I just added both okay um, and of course the top search once I added just these guys it turns out that the top search looks like that All right you can see that now that's not ideal so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give that now for this guy um, if you look here it has it has a margin on top see it has a margin so we're going to give that mark we're going to make that margin a 33 so it'll stay with the other guys like that as you can see right and that's great because now it works fine right if you're using the search button so that piece of code is right here all right so we add all that to extra css for me, I enqueued extra. Yeah, I saved that, right? Did I save it? No, I didn't. Oh, that was not smart. Yeah, okay. So I enqueued extra CSS uh, through my functions, and I also enqueued contact form 7, which is what uh, styles all the contact forms. Uh, anyway, so now that we have that saved, we can reload the page, and it should look pretty much the same except now it does this yay yay yep um let's see is there anything that i need to also yeah i think that's about it right yeah cool 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 um they look like there's sort of there's a small space here hmm yeah that's not too bad yeah. All right. Um, I'll, I'll actually add that little uh, CSS that takes out that space if you really want to do that, if you think that's important. But otherwise, this works fine and that takes care of that. So um, this actually makes the header look totally, feel totally different. So uh, good luck with that. Have fun. And um, maybe I'll see you in a contact form course or a responsive course. I don't know. Anyways. Um, Here's another Divi tip and have fun. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye. Thanks.